definitely is a basic game compared to other things FromSoft has pumped out there. Okay? That's my criticism. Excuse me. Continuing on. Now, hold on a second. Snowcrawl, how did you manage this? Snowcrawl originally sent me the dollar tip. Then he sent me a different currency tip. How did you even manage to do that? I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> I don't even know how much this is. Like, I wish I could say, oh, this is a dollar or this is two. It's another currency. I... He says it was a mistake. I have to try to look at this and see how much it even is to see if I have to update the leaderboard or not. Because <laughs> I, I don't even know. I literally don't even know. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. So I go to Google. Okay, so he meant to do a dollar tip, but in the currency he tipped in, it was like 94 cents. I guess I can give him the benefit of the doubt. He says, I got my most of my taxes done. No, he says, I just got done with my taxes. He says, he's getting a bunch back. Are you one of the people who think you should allow yourself to spend returns on whatever you want? If What should I use it for? Huh? He says, he, he okay, let me try this again. He finished his taxes. He got a bunch back. Are you one of the people who think you should allow yourself to spend returns on whatever you want? If so, what should I... Oh, I, I totally misread it. What he's saying is, do I believe that if you were to get a refund, a tax refund, okay, that you should be able to kind of consider that like funny money? Oh, this money is just bonus money that you don't really have to apply to anything and you can go spend it on whatever you want. So, basically, that's how I used to treat it. You know, back when I had nine to five jobs and my, my tax returns were super easy. It was, oh, here's your W-2, plug in the numbers, boom, auto-calculated, send it to the government, government sends you a refund later, beautiful, right? And they were like, oh, look at this money I just got back, now what do I want to do with it? And a lot of the times, that money would go towards hobbies and stuff. Like, for example, when I used to play Street Fighter. I would travel to a tournament with the money I got as a tax return. I would that would pay for my trip, right? Or maybe buy a, a new joystick to play in tournaments, or you know what I'm saying, like stuff like that. Travel expenses, you know, gaming expenses, stuff like that. Um, the moment that I became independent and started my own business and ran it as such, that all ended. <laughs> really, like whenever you run your own business, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Uh, how much you think you know you need to, to pay or whatever. I don't think... I, there may have been... I'm serious about this. There may have been one year when I overpaid on my taxes since I owned my own business and it was like the first year. The very first year I overpaid. And then they said, oh, you have a refund. How would you like to apply it? And I'm almost positive. I said, just apply it to the next year. That way it reduces what I owe for the next year. It, why why get the money back just so that just for I know I have to sp I have to pay more money next year for taxes regardless just roll it into the next year that's what I did um and then most other years like I said it's always you pay you pay your estimate you pay your estimate you pay your estimate and then you do your taxes at the end they're like well you technically you were under by this amount you know so and then you have to pay it off whether you have the money you pay it in a lump sum or you put it into a payment plan or whatever you end up doing um you know, and that's just what's always happened to me uh, since I own my own business. So over a decade now, you know, that's that's the deal. So, yeah, when I had a simple nine to five job, it was super easy. I always got a refund and it was always like, ooh, bonus. You know, what do I do with this now? But now I, I don't get that anymore. No, you know, most people who own their own business never get that. Okay. Okay. So. I counted that as a dollar tip, even though technically I think it was like 94 cents. I'll give Snowcrawl the benefit of the doubt. So there you go. All right, guys. Oh, wait, never mind. Bloomkit did a second super chat. Bloomkit says, you can cancel Showtime immediately when you sign up. You still get the month free. There's some good stuff on there as well. See, here's the thing. If I 